I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on polynomials. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Now, I got many requests from different parts of the world on polynomials, starting from grade 10 in India, CBSC board, to grade 12 in Australia and Canada, where it is taken up as a prerequisite for calculus. We'll look into a few very interesting questions in this playlist, and I hope they are going to benefit all the high school students. Let's begin with this one. If the polynomial x to the power of 4 minus 6x cubed plus 16x squared minus 25x plus 10 is divided by x squared minus 2x plus k, the remainder is x plus a. Find k and a. I would like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, since the divisor has unknown parameter k, and we need to find two different parameters, x and a, uh, k and a, it's kind of a difficult question. Let's see how to solve it. So the divisor here is x squared minus 2x plus k, right? And what are we dividing? We are dividing a quartic function, degree 4 function, which is x to the power of 4 minus 6x cubed plus 16x squared minus 25x plus 10. Right? Let's see how to divide. So three terms, I'll take three terms. First thing to multiply with x squared, we get x to the power of 4 minus 2x cubed plus, now this is k, so it will give us kx squared. Now when you take away, what do you get? When you take away, you this gets cancelled. Here you get minus 4x cubed. Here x squared is common and we actually get 16 minus k x squared. Bring down 25 x with a negative sign. Now, in the quotient, we need to multiply by minus 4x to get minus 4x cubed. So, we get minus 4x cubed minus minus makes it positive. 4 times 2 is 8. So, we get 8 uh, positive x squared. Now, this term becomes minus 4kx. So, we get minus 4kx. So when you take away, what do you get? Now, it becomes really tricky at this stage. So you have to be very careful. x squared is common. So let's take x squared common. And we have to do all this within the brackets, correct? So the numbers are 16 minus 8, which is 8 and minus k, correct? And here we have x common, right? I've taken minus outside. Now, if you normally do, you get minus 25x plus 4kx, right? So when I take minus outside, I write this as 25. I'm taking x outside, right? X outside. So 25 minus, I actually need this as positive. So I write minus 4k. Does it make sense to you? Bring down 10. So this is kind of a critical step. If you don't want to write brackets, if you find that to be simpler, you can do so. Okay, now we need to multiply our divisor by this term 8 minus k. So we get plus 8 minus k here, right? So when you multiply by 8 minus k, the first term is taken care of. So we have 8 minus k x squared. And then we have minus 2 times 8, okay, let me write down separately, minus 2 times 8 is 16x. And then with 
minus 2 times x with k will give us positive 2kx, right? And the constant term will be plus 8k minus k square. Is that clear? Now let's take away these terms and see what is the remainder for us. Now, here we have minus 25 x and minus 16. So when you take away, we get negative 9x, right? So we get negative 9x, right? Let me write negative 9x. And as far as the k terms are concerned, plus 4kx take away makes it, uh, we take away positive, so we get 2kx, correct? So we get plus 2kx, right? Here, we have the constant term 10 minus 8k and plus k squared. Does it make sense to you? So that becomes your remainder, right? So this is your remainder. Now we are saying if the remainder is, let me highlight this. If the remainder is x plus a, find k. So if you see, the portion which has x in it is this one, right? So this is, we want this as x and that we want as a. Do you see that? Now that means what? That means that we have two different equations to work with. Now, we want all this to be x, right? So that is to say, minus 9x plus 2kx should be equal to x, right? So x and x cancel. So, so we get minus 9 plus 2k is equal to 1, right? Take x common, cancel it. So that gives you that 2k equals to 1 plus 9, which is 10, or k is equal to 5. So that is how you solve for k. Is that clear? Now the, the other part is supposed to be a. That is to say, 10 minus 8k plus k square should be equal to a. Now we know what k is. k is 5. Let's substitute 5 here. So we get 10 minus 8 times 5 plus 5 square. That is a, which is 10 minus 40 plus 25 is equal to a. Is that clear to you? Now 10 plus 25 is 35. So we get minus 5 as a, right? So we get minus 5 equals to a. So that becomes our answer. Is that clear? So we get our answer, which is k equals to 5 and a equals to minus 5. Correct? So that is how this question can be solved. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you have similar questions, post them. That will help us to come up with an excellent playlist for all of you. Thanks for watching and all the best.